a tough but not impossible topic, circle word problems. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to tackle this problem and show you that even though you know a formula for a certain math idea, it's always important to know how to set up the formula and how to work backwards whenever you need to. This is a perfect example, so let's go ahead and get through this. So first things first, we always wanna make sure that we know what we're trying to solve for in any word problem. That's the first goal. What are we looking for? That's always gonna be right here. Hey, what is the diameter of the hula hoop? Now, you know, you tell me, diameter, that's in the question. That's a very specific math term. And so you can be pretty confident, feel pretty comfortable knowing that we're talking about a circle because diameter is exclusive to talking about circles. So with that said, booyah, there it is. What is the diameter of the hula hoop? Cool. So that's what we're looking for, the diameter of a circle. So we'll write that down. Diameter equals, I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and collect some information now because we know what we want, but now we're gonna collect some information to see where we're going with this. So here we go. We see that it says the surface of a hula hoop covers 16 pi square feet. So right here it says again, surface of a hula hoop covers 16 pi square feet. And I'm really gonna emphasize right there, square feet. The hardest part about practicing for the ASVAB, in my opinion, is knowing when you're ready. Knowing that you are good to go and move on from this topic, and that's why our full program has a progress dashboard, letting you know exactly what you're good at and what you need to work on. And the great thing is, you can join our full program for free for a full week, no credit card required. That's our trial that's available for you. So go ahead and text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 or click the link in the description of this video to get started and have yourself a good time. Go ahead and do it, my ASVAB party people. I'll see you in there. Knowing what that keyword means. Square feet, what does that mean? Well, that means that you're talking about area. Remember, square units dictate area. Regular units, that's just distance, could be perimeter, could be circumference, but then cubic units is volume. Again, square units, that's area. So here, this 16 pi, it really denotes area. Boom. So with that said, we're gonna say that we're given the area equals 16 pi. Again, what denotes it is the square feet. That's really what gives it away. Now, how do we use this information? The moment that you recognize a math term that is related to a formula or has a formula, boom, you wanna make sure you can recall it instantly. And so that formula is this. We know we're talking about a circle because it said diameter, radius, right? A hula hoop, we know that that's a circular object. And so we're looking at the area of a circle. Its formula is this, area equals pi r squared. Hmm. Now pay very close attention here. Notice how the problem says that we're looking for the diameter. The formula that we need to use right now, well, it talks about the radius. You have to ask yourself, once I solve this and get R, can I turn that into the diameter? Absolutely. Remember that the relationship between radius and diameter is that the radius is half of the diameter. Or you could say that the diameter is double the radius, whichever way you're looking, but that's the idea. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna solve this equation. I'm gonna plug in 16 pi for the area, just like this, plug in 16 pi. I'm gonna solve this for r, or the radius, and then I'm gonna find the diameter after the fact. So here we go. First thing I'll do, let me zoom in here. First thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and divide both sides by pi. Because again, I'm trying to get that r by itself. So when I do that, something beautiful actually happens. It cancels on the right side and it cancels on the left. Very fortunate for us, we're nice and easy there. So now we have 16 equals r squared. And now this is where you have to know how to solve an equation that has a square in it. Remember that solving equations is all about opposites. What's the opposite of squaring? Well, the opposite of squaring is gonna be taking the square root. Booyah! So with that said, we'll take the square root. I'll go ahead and take the square root of both sides with purple here. Boom, square root, square root. And then we have r equals what? Now remember, the square root means what number times itself gives you 16. Four times four. Four times four gives me 16. So the square root of 16 is four. 
and that's my radius. So don't get confused though. Don't get tricked into thinking that A is the answer because it is not. It is not the answer. The answer is gonna be B because remember, the diameter equals double that radius and two times four is eight. So we have eight feet for the diameter. So there it is, my party people. Go ahead and leave a comment on this video if this helps you learn a little bit more about circles. And number two, don't forget about the free trial. We know we have the best ASVAB program in the nation and you can get seven days for free so we can prove it to you too. Go ahead and text the word trial to 833-321-0182 or go ahead and click the link in the description of this video to get started right now and away. So with that said, love you guys, love my party people. Let's ace the ASVAB and I'll see you in the next video. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.